We're adding lots of fall to the kitchen today. Hi, it's Becca and welcome to my channel where today I'm standing in front of a pretty lonely, sad, empty, boring kitchen. And I wanna change that. It's time to fallify this room and ignore the cat on the counter. Okay, kitchens, they are the heart of the home, even to our pets. It is the room where everybody tends to gravitate no matter how big or small your house is, if you're entertaining, everybody kind of packs in the kitchen. So my goal is to make ours as welcoming and inviting as cozy and as cozy as I can, especially as we head into the holidays. I have one quick DIY project that I wanna take care of and we have a fall family tree to decorate. I may end up doing this in two parts just because I don't wanna bore you or keep you too long. So I will turn you around now and we're gonna do something about this empty, boring kitchen. We have a nice blank slate ready for lots of fall colors. Now the first order of business was bringing in this table. This has been in our dining room for almost nine years. I've never had it in here. And then I anchored it with the faux hide rug. I think that's just a good choice in here. I like the size of it for the kitchen and how it kind of lightens things up a bit. Next, I brought in these chairs. They've been hiding in our storage room. I really like the contrast of the wood and white, especially this time of year. I feel they add a bit of warmth and I really like how they look with the green cabinets. And as much as I like our white shelves, unfortunately, they are starting to warp a little bit. So I am using this as the perfect excuse to change them out, except they're not going to be white. Here are the new shelves. This is wood from Lowe's that they cut down to size for me. A little more veining than I usually go for, but I think they may work. So let me just show you really quickly what I plan on doing. Here I just poured a little bit of glaze on a paper plate and then dab, dab, dab. Now using a chip brush, I'm just spreading the glaze across the wood. Sometimes I use a sock, but this time I just grabbed a brush. This is such a quick project. I think this part took two minutes. Once I'm done brushing on the glaze, I then take a paper towel or a cloth and just wipe off the excess until I'm satisfied with how it looks. The new shelves are done and ready to be fallified. I'm pretty pleased with how they turned out. I love the contrast of the wood and white. These are a little thinner than the other ones were. Um, and the one thing I really like about glaze is it's a bit less messy than a traditional liquid stain. And you know what, if you're not happy with how they turned out, you can always paint them white or sand them down and start over. With the shelves done, it's time to decorate. Let me show you what I've got. I've laid everything out on the island. Sometimes it helps for me to see everything, have it all laid out, and then start decorating rather than pulling from pictures and, or I'm sorry, cabinets and drawers, etc., and boxes. So anyway, this is what I'm gonna be using today. I have these really cute pumpkin pitchers. I love the little barn detail on them and the pumpkin patch. And I have matching bowls as well. And then just some traditional turkey plates and this fun glass pumpkin container. I also have the little pumpkin mugs. I love that it has happy fall written on the inside so you can see it when they're hanging. And then these adorable white pumpkin mugs. I love the shape, the pumpkin shape. And I have one pack left of the ceramic coasters. I have an idea where I might use them, but I gotta go break out the hot glue gun. I'll be mixing in a few pictures as well. I have some in various sizes, little salt and pepper containers, these little stands and matching creamers. Of course, I have to have a soup tureen somewhere in the kitchen for fall. I also have white candle holders along with my favorite battery operated candles. And then these really cute candle holders that I recently found at Ikea. Platters and plates will come in handy too. I also have just a little bit of copper I'm gonna be adding in. I don't have a lot. So I need to work on building my collection, but I think it'll be really pretty, especially since I have the green cabinets. I love that combo uh, mixed in with the white. 
Since fall and food go hand in hand, I'm bringing out the cookbooks. I like to display them this time of year. I think they add a cozy factor. And if the covers are pretty enough, it almost looks like artwork. I found some cute pumpkin napkins I hope to incorporate. I have dish towels and then matching oven mitts. I'll also be adding in some rolling pins and little wooden spatulas. I have these little matching boards along with this longer one and then this fun wreath and these tiny little pumpkins and gourds. I have my pretty glass lamps ready to go. I brought this woven hanging basket up from the basement. It's been hiding down there way too long. And then I have seasonal artwork. I ordered this print from Etsy and what I did is had a mirror image printed as well. So if you notice the trees are on the left side on that print, but on the right side on that one. So it's just for me, it's a way to trick the eye into thinking you have companion pieces when it's really the same. Lastly, I'll be adding in faux fall branches and picks and these really pretty pear stems. Another quick DIY. I'm just gonna hot glue my little pumpkin coasters to the cutting boards just to give them a little embellishment and contrast.
Now onto the island. Normally I would do some sort of fall styling, a vignette, but this year I decided to keep it fairly simple by just adding a wreath, glass vase, added candle, and then to give the wreath a bit of color, just tucking in a few of these rusty orange picks. Now I'm gonna do the table and brought in my favorite woven runner. And that's where my soup terrain landed. And for me, it's just about adding candlelight and color. Just going to add in a few picks and pumpkins. And I'm not going to do a tablescape on this table only because this is where we eat daily, but I'll save a tablescape for the dining room that I will be sharing very soon. After making a few changes, I think I'm done.
Thank you for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I'll be back next time to decorate the fall family tree, which will be the final addition to the kitchen. I really hope you'll join me. I also hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.